The bola is a weapon that can turn the tide of a battle in a split second. One hit from these things, it's pretty much a death sentence. Want to know the best way to use them? Let's go through it. The bola is crafted in your hand for 15 fiber, 3 hide, 3 stone, and 10 thatch. Each of these will weigh 0.5 and they stack up to 10 and I recommend having at least a full stack on you. I usually carry around two but I understand some people don't focus on the same kind of PvP as I do but no matter who you are you gotta have at least one whole stack of these things. Now anyone who's never used a bowl before might think I'm exaggerating the usefulness of these things. Why the hell would I always have to have ten of these on me? What's so great about them? Well what you do is you wind them up and you throw them. And if you hit a small creature or player that thing will be immobilized for the next 30 seconds. Yep, for half a minute, if you're hit with Ebola, you will not be able to move. I don't think I need to explain to you how big that is. Now you understand the purpose of bolas and why they're so important to have. Let me explain how they work. Well, you simply put them in your hands. You hold down the shoot button to wind them up. Fully winding up takes about 3 seconds, and the faster you wind it up will not determine how long the creature is held for, it will simply determine the speed of the bola as it travels through the air. So you spin it up, and once it's fully spinned up, you can just rotate it above your head like a fucking helicopter blade. As soon as you let go of that shoot button, your character will throw the bola, and it will then begin to travel through the air. Now keep in mind, even when fully charged up, these things are incredibly slow. In fact, if you have enough movement speed, you could outrun one, hypothetically speaking. And they also continue to have a lot of arc. So you're going to need to be very close to whatever it is you're trying to bowl. Once a bowl has hit its target and the creature is able to be bowled, they will be immobilized for 30 seconds. So anywhere from a dodo to a raptor, both of them are going to be stuck for 30 seconds. There is one possible way to reduce this timer, and that is through the use of whip, and I'll get into that in a second. And while a target is bullied, you cannot add to this timer any possible way. And in fact, even when the timer has ended, you're given 10 seconds of bola immunity, which I guess is to prevent you from getting absolutely chain bullied. If you ever get caught in a bola, you might just start to see the light at the end of the tunnel. But don't worry, there's three possible ways to stop yourself from getting killed that I've found that work fairly reliably. The first is a whip. Second is a shield. And the third is a little move I like to call the twister. Let's get into these. So the first and really most preferable, reliable, and efficient way to get out of a bola is through the use of a whip. If somebody whips you while you're in Ebola, you're free. This also comes with the benefit of being immune to being bolaed further for the remainder of the Ebola duration. Ebola immunity? Fucking sweet. What's the issue? Well, you gotta not be a lonely fuck. You gotta have someone there nearby when you get bolaed to whip you out of it. The sooner the better because the more immunity you'll have from the next one. The next method is to simply have a shield on you and just throw yourself behind it whenever you get bowled. Now the effectiveness of this strat will rely entirely upon the quality and durability of your shield, obviously, and the equipment that your enemy has access to. If they use dinos, say a Theory, Rex, Giga, anything like that, not going to matter if you have your shield up, you're just going to get torn to ribbons either way. The shield has a good amount of use cases against weapons like guns. Uh, some guns will just absolutely punch through the shield like a fabricated shotgun, but others like snipers, compound bows, and pistols will most likely not break your shield in time, so long as it's not wooden, before the bullet breaks. So it will give you basically a second life. And this strat is incredibly effective against early game melee weapons like torches and clubs. Because both of those do so very little health damage, outright anyway, they won't break your shield, not realistically. 
their weapons will break before your shield breaks. So, as long as you're able to rotate around and continuously block the attacks from early game melee weapons, shields work really well. So, keep this in mind. Shields get a lot more useful for escaping bolas the earlier you are into the gear stages. Now, the next one is a strat that everyone knows, but I think I'm the first one to come up with this name. Uh, everybody knows it, and everybody's got a different name for it, but I call this strat the Twister. This is the one where you simply spam crouching, spam going prone, jump, spin around. You make yourself as hard to hit as possible by abusing how quickly the game lets you go prone. This strat is uh, kind of the opposite in the cl of the shield, in that it works incredibly effectively against firearms because you know it's hard to hit the same piece of armor when the dude's like twirling around spinning jumping prone crouch when his hitboxes are moving all over the place but this strat is actually pretty much entirely it's actually detrimental to use against melee weapons because when you're spinning around you cannot retaliate you can't throw your own bolas you can't shoot your own guns you can't really effectively swing your own melee weapons so if a guy's coming at you with the melee weapon, doing the twister is bad because it leaves you completely undefended. But if they have a gun, it's a good way to increase your survivability. So, just to recap, you want to use the whip whenever possible. It's the only one that's reliable and actually brings you a benefit. If you're solo or, you know, your buddy's not going to be near you for whatever reason, a shield is an okay compromise. And if all hell ever breaks loose and you didn't bring a shield, you don't have a friend, or maybe your shield broke, then the Twister is, um, it's not great, but it's certainly a lot better than standing still, as long as they're shooting a gun at you anyway. And if you're hoping to get better at using bolas, well, there's really no silver bullets to this. You just need to go out there and practice. This might be with your friends on, you know, an unofficial server, a single player world, you spawn in bolos and gear. However, I find these experiences to be a little, um, not representative of what the actual experience will be like. So what I recommend is just going to a populated official server, spawning in with no gear, and then just crafting bolas, maybe a hide set of armor if you're feeling frisky, and just going around and fighting people until you really begin to understand the trajectory, the speed, the arc of the bolas. Once you understand how these work, I mean, you'll be able to make longer range shots and you'll just hit more accurately. Practice makes perfect after all. So go out there and start practicing. So if you guys enjoyed the video, go ahead and uh, leave a like and subscribe if you'd like to see some more guide videos that I have in the works. Thanks to all of my patrons for being epic, and especially level 5 Tech Dodo for being the most epicest. Alright, cool. I'll see you guys later.